Yo, what is up guys? It is Bumfries, back with another episode of Entitled Parents. Today's episode is gonna be a banger, and I know you're gonna love this one. I finally got some time to make a bunch of videos for you guys, so if you want to see an episode of Choosing Beggars or Entitled Parents tomorrow, let's get this video to 3,000 likes, and there'll be another video waiting for you tomorrow. Once you've liked the video, all you have to do is sit back, relax, and get annoyed at some Entitled Parents. For some background, I live in a rather quiet apartment building, but as soon as this crazy lady moved here, I knew that my situation was going to go belly up. I always try my best to be kind to my neighbours, and it wasn't any different for the entitled mum. I enjoy having small get-togethers in my apartment with a couple of my neighbours, so when the entitled mum and her annoying as hell kid moved into the building, I decided to invite them to a weekly Friday adults only game night. The party was set to begin at 7, but the entitled mum came a good hour late. Our parties are adult only because we have a lot of alcoholic beverages and some other things set out. The entitled mum, however, decides to ignore the clear as day rule that kids aren't allowed and she decides to bring her little brat to my house. As soon as I see the kid, I tell her no kids allowed, but then she goes and says, it's okay. He has my permission. I sighed and asked her to come back in 10 minutes. Now, me and all of the neighbors have to clear all of the alcohol and pack them in the cupboards. She and her little brat come back in 30 minutes and immediately start eating all of my food. I'm a really non-confrontational person, so telling them to stop was a big no-no. This isn't even the real story yet. It's just some background to explain the crap show that is about to happen. This is where the story really begins. My girlfriend was staying at my place because she didn't want to risk getting her parents, who both had pre-existing conditions, sick. So one day, I was out of the house getting groceries when my girlfriend called me crying and saying that she didn't feel safe in our apartment. Apparently my girlfriend was taking a shower when she heard some moaning. She thought it was me and she opened the curtain to see the entitled kid. Yeah, that same little kid doing his thing and standing outside the open bathroom door. My girlfriend screamed, slapped him, and then kicked him out. Hearing this, I immediately rush home to comfort her, having absolutely no clue how that little bastard got into my home. As soon as I get home, I see the entitled mum standing outside my apartment, banging on the door. I tap her on the shoulder and start to explain to her that she really needs to control her kid. I tried to be as nice as possible, even though I was seething with anger. I tried to tell her that I understand his body is going through changes and that he has urges, but breaking into people's houses and doing stuff like this wasn't okay at all. Before I can finish, the entitled mum goes off at me. She starts screaming that her son didn't break into anyone's house and that my girlfriend had no right to hit him. She said she was going to call the cops and tell them that we assaulted her little brat. Even though at this point I'm literally seeing red, I try my best to remain calm and ask her how her mistake of a son got into my house. The entitled mother starts screaming at me and in her anger she lets it slip that during my neighborly meeting in the background section she took one of my apartment keys and my brain just shuts off. My girlfriend comes out after hearing the commotion and apparently heard that the entitled mum stole my keys and my girlfriend goes off. She says that she's calling the cops for stealing, breaking and entering and invasion of privacy. At this point, my brain is still processing what the entitled mum had just said. The entitled mum screams back that in her rental agreement, she was given access to all of the amenities of the apartment and she somehow believed that my house belonged to them too. Keep in mind, I'm not renting and I own my apartment. My girlfriend and I kept strong on her promise and called the cops right then and there. The entitled mum got arrested, but I don't know what happened from that point onwards. All I know is that I changed my locks, got only two new house keys, gave one to my girlfriend and kept the other one. And just to be safe, I bought one of those camera doorbell things as well. If this isn't one of the craziest ways that I've started off an Entitled Parents episode, I could not tell you what is. I mean, not only is this absolutely disgusting on the kid's part, but the fact that this absolutely awful Entitled Mum even tries to justify it in the slightest, as opposed to actually going out and disciplining her kid for literally breaking into someone's house and then massively invading someone's privacy, just shows how terrible some of these Entitled Parents can be, and unfortunately, by the sounds of it, with this Entitled Mum and her little brat of a son, doesn't sound like the apple falls very far from the tree. It was my day off, so I brought my pup to the park. There was nobody else there, so I was kicking a soccer ball around for her and doing some little shuttle runs since I needed to work out too. After we had been there for about 30 minutes, I noticed a family. A dad, a mum, two kids and a small dog standing near the fence looking like they were waiting to go in. 
I didn't really think much of it and kept playing for about 10 more minutes. When we were leaving, the dad stopped me at the gate and said, you shouldn't be here. No aggressive dogs are allowed. I was confused because my dog was the only dog in the park, so how could he have been considered aggressive? I was also a little offended because when I first adopted my dog, she was reactive, specifically to bigger dogs that ran up to her very quickly or tried to mount her but I'd been working with a professional trainer as well as my dog sitter who owned big dogs and she no longer growls or shows teeth when a big dog approaches her. Just note that I wasn't taking her to the dog park during her training and even now I stay close by when a big dog approaches her just in case. So I said to him, how is my dog being aggressive? She didn't even notice your dog there. So he responds, that's a pit bull, right? Pit bulls are an aggressive breed. I'm sick of constantly seeing pit bull owners who think they own the park. Now, there are a lot of pit bull mixes at the park, especially during busy times like after work, but I've never seen anyone acting like they own the park as he describes it. So I said to him, the sign doesn't say no aggressive breeds. It says dogs demonstrating aggressive behavior must be leashed and removed immediately. My dog wasn't acting aggressive, so there isn't a problem. He threatens to call the city and have me banned permanently from the dog park. I said, you don't know my name. What are you gonna say? There was a pit bull and an owner alone at the dog park? Good luck with that. He kept trying to talk to me, but I just ignored him and walked home. I hope he and his family enjoyed the dog park. You know, when it comes to something like this, I actually understand that there are people out there who are genuinely scared of pit bulls. I'm sure they've seen videos where pit bulls have been aggressive and a magnitude of other things to justify their fear of pit bulls, right? And that's absolutely fine. But here's the thing. You have the ability to just keep your dog on the leash. Don't go near the pit bull if you're so scared of it. Just because you're scared of a pit bull because you think it's an aggressive breed, it doesn't mean other people do as well, and it doesn't mean that you have the right to try and control not only what other people do, but how other people should feel as well. I mean, seriously, if you don't like chocolate, you just don't eat chocolate. You don't go around telling other people that they shouldn't eat chocolate either just because you don't like it. I guess the simple concept of mind your own business just goes way over the head of an entitled parent. So, I was at Dave & Buster's with my husband for a date night. I'm playing one of those games where you shoot a coin down a slot and hope it results in pushing multiple other coins off the edge to get tickets. However, Dave & Buster's no longer gives tickets and you have to insert your game card when you're done playing to receive your ticket credits. I'm the only one playing on one of the machines and there are five other empty machines that others could sit and play at. All of a sudden, a woman is standing behind me and she says, excuse me. But you've been playing this game a while and my son, who is probably about 6 years old, deserves a turn. Of course, I pointed out that there are 5 other identical games available, but that is not good enough for her. She says, I see you have well over 400 points on this game and it is clearly the lucky one. I try to stick it out, but she is breathing like a dragon behind me, so I decide to leave it. It simply is not worth it. I'm not even halfway out of my chair before this little kid is in my chair. No kidding, we touch butts as I'm sliding over. The entitled mom pushes me out of the way and I say, excuse me, but I need to put my card in to get my tickets. The friggin' entitled mom takes her son's card and shoves it in, looks at me and says, sorry. He is playing now and they are his tickets. You are clearly too old to be here anyway and my child deserves them more. I was 24 at the time, and this is Dave & Buster's who cater to adults. It's not some freaking Chuck E. Cheese. Now, I'm not one to cause a scene, but I had spent a lot of my credits on that game. Of course I went to security and threw a fit. They went over to the woman and told her that she needs to let others take their tickets before playing, but of course, she played dumb. In the end, they gave me twice as many tickets as I was supposed to get, but also let her keep the ones she stole, most likely to avoid a huge blow up. I can't believe how arrogant people are. I guess this is just another one of those entitled parent stories where these entitled parents literally think it's okay just to steal other people's things. I mean, the entitled parent in the first story just stole someone's key. The entitled parents in so many other stories have taken people's Nintendo Switches and various other items. It seems to be a trend with entitled parents to think that they're entitled to literally everything that everybody else owns, but I suppose that's what makes them entitled. I guess at the end of the day, the big takeaway is it's not the entitled parent's responsibility to raise their own kid and get them things that they want. It's everybody else's responsibility and everyone else should suffer as a result.
I'm a 23 year old female with two young nephews. I enjoy reading. I have a home office slash library that has half the room as bookshelves filled with books of all kinds. From school textbooks and research books to fantasy and children's books. I'll admit I am a bookworm. Anyway. My nephews have started reading a lot more, so I decided to buy them some of my favorite books to read as a child. Books like The Magic Treehouse, Geronimo Stilton, and The Enchanted Castle, etc. When I went over to give them the books, my nephews looked at them for a few minutes, then threw them on the ground. We were outside on the back porch at the time. My nephew started asking what else I bought for them and why I gave them smelly, boring old books. Mind you, the books were brand new and still had the stickers on them and everything. I thought maybe they were just being kids because, you know, they are kids. But when I explained to them that I just bought the books for them, they threw a huge tantrum. They were screaming and crying about why I didn't buy them video games and toys and instead just gave them stupid books. They started stomping all over the books on the ground. Their mother slash my sister did not stop them. In fact, she scolded me for not getting them something that they really wanted like video games. I started arguing with her that she told me that they loved books and they wanted to read more so that's why I got them the books. I thought they would enjoy these books just as I did as a child. My sister screamed at me about how self-absorbed and how not everyone loved books like I did. But she was the one who told me that my nephews really loved books like I did, repeatedly. I knew I was getting nowhere with this argument and my nephews were screaming in the background so I picked up all of the books off the ground and left to go back home. Within the next few days, my sister repeatedly called to berate me and yell at me for not getting them something else. Then after a week, my sister called to ask me if I was getting my nephews anything better because they were so disappointed and upset. I told her no and she yelled at me some more. Before she hung up, she asked me when I was going to bring over the books again or if she needed to come and get them. I told her no and that I was keeping them because she and my nephews were being ungrateful and entitled. I told her that she should teach her kids better, not to be spoiled brats and to be appreciative of any gift that someone gives them regardless of whether or not they like it. Like I said, I enjoy these books as a child and would love to reread them as much as I can. So I decided to keep them for myself because my nephews didn't want them to begin with and were being entitled brats. Just some side notes, my sister has raised my nephews to be spoiled rotten. If they didn't get their way, there would be little monsters to you or others and my sister encourages their selfishness and bad behavior. This is one of the reasons that I'm low on contact with her right now. For the people that are asking for my nephew's ages, one is seven years old and the other is two years old. I mostly got the books for the seven-year-old, but thought that he or my sister could read them to the two-year-old, kinda like bonding time or something. And yes, both of my nephews play video games. My sister has bought each of them a handheld iPad or whatever it's called, I'm not entirely sure. I didn't even know that such a thing existed until my nephews were a little over one year old. They were both taught how to use them as well as YouTube, kids TV channels, and Game Boys. I've ranted about young kids using technology in another sub before. When I was a kid, we played outside. My seven-year-old nephew knew how to use basic internet and computer at the age of two. Now, my two-year-old nephew does as well. I believe that today's parents rely way too heavily on technology to entertain and keep their kids busy. But that's just my opinion based on my experiences with my nephews. You know, while I don't entirely agree with the last part because I think the world is going towards such a technology-based society, I can agree with the fact that this entitled mum has not raised her kids very well at all. I just think more than anything, it's kind of common courtesy to be nice and if somebody does give you a gift, at least show some kind of appreciation even if you don't like it. Like at the end of the day, you're not going to enjoy every gift you receive. That's just the reality of receiving gifts. Not everyone knows what you want and they're not going to get it right 100% of the time. If they don't get it right, just say thank you, show some appreciation and move on with your day. It's as simple as that. Unfortunately, when it comes to entitled parents and the way they raise entitled kids, they tend to take the general manual on how to be a decent person and just do everything the exact opposite. So I'm a grocery store worker and I was in the middle of serving a man, a woman and their bratty kid. This is going to be our entitled mum and our entitled dad. Suddenly, our customer service worker made an announcement that she needed a first aider to attend the front of the store as soon as possible. This was my job as I was the only first aider in the store at that time as far as I knew. Luckily, it turned out there was someone else who was trained. I called over my supervisor and she gave me the go ahead to leave and attend the call and that she would take over my till and continue scanning the shopping. As I attempt to leave, the entitled dad decided to block me in behind my till with his trolley saying, we've been waiting here for ages in this queue and our son is exhausted. 
you are going to finish this shop before you go on your break or whatever you're going to do. I explained to him that I was needed at a first aid call, but he wouldn't budge and I wasn't allowed to touch him to budge past. My supervisor was demanding that I get let out and every time they continued to refuse to let me go saying that we could have finished it by now if we weren't messing around. Eventually I gave up and just scanned through all of their stuff as fast as I could with little care and then ran to the front of the store. Luckily my colleague had attended the call and it was nothing serious, but man, imagine if it was something more serious. You know, at this point, I'm not even surprised that an entitled parent is willing to put somebody else in danger for their own selfish needs. But over something so simple, where the manager literally could have just taken over, a story like this is absolutely absurd. Like, it would have been literally no inconvenience to the entitled parent for this person to just walk out of the till, let the manager walk in, and continue along with their shopping. But, I guess when you're an entitled parent, you don't see the world in the same way as everyone else, and you've got this delusional thought that the world revolves around you. I honestly just don't know what else to say. Entitled parents are just a different breed. Alright everyone, that is that for today's episode of Entitled Parents. I just want to start off by saying thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did enjoy the video, like I said at the start, don't forget to smash that like button down below and another video will be coming tomorrow if we can hit 3000 likes. I just want to thank everyone for their patience with me as well. More videos are absolutely coming in the very, very near future, but I've just had a lot going on between work and home life and everything in between. I'm not going to drag this outro out though, but what I will say is on the screen right now you will see two of my previous videos both of which I would highly suggest you watching. If you enjoyed this video, I can guarantee you're gonna love those as well. But that is gonna wrap things up for today's episode of Entitled Parents. I just wanna say again, thank you so much for watching. If you're new around here, don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys tomorrow for another video.